Hello and welcome to First Look. Look with two zeros, I'm Young John, and today we're gonna look at MSI's Modern 14, the B11MO-211. Now the reason why I bought this laptop in particular is because the new laptops with the Alder Lake 12th generation chips are in the market now, so uh, you can find some really good deals on generation 11 chips. I'm really looking forward to opening up this laptop because I'm a long time user of MSI's. I have a MSI gaming laptop that I still use. And uh, this one comes in a plain cardboard box. No one will come and steal it. You see the protection tape, so you know no one's tampered with it. So we know this is a new box. Pull this out. Empty box. Wow, this looks like a gift wrapped box of chocolate. Let's open up this guy first. We have the charger there, and this is not so big. It fits in the palm of your hand. So let's open up this shrink wrap. I love it. And let's open up our gift, the laptop. We can lift this up and we have the quick guide. Let's pull it out. And this is everything that comes inside the box. You have your laptop, you have your quick start guide, and you have your charger. So looking on top, there is a plastic sheeting uh, protecting your laptop. See that? And you see MSI written kind of subtly in a darker color there. It's easy on the eyes. And on the reverse side, you have vent grills on the bottom. I can see a little fan right over here. We have two speakers, two watts by the way, and uh, there's a factory seal here. Now this is where there should be a screw. So if you need to install something, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven screws. Uh, that you undo to upgrade RAM or the SSD. But it says for technical support or assistance on this product, please contact the toll-free number. And actually, MSI is very, very good about picking up calls and helping you. So if you have a problem, call them. Uh, the edge here between the bottom and the top, it's kind of sharp. Kind of feels like it's magnetic. So it closes shut. I like that. Anyway, let's open it up. And whoa, that's nice. What just happened is that as I opened it up, this part just kind of came sticking out. So it gives you this space over here to let the air kind of uh, work its way in and out. That's really great. QWERTY keys on top, chiclet styled. It tells you it's Core i3 here. You have the trackpad there. And you see the 720p camera. On the left side, here is your power port, your HDMI port, uh, USB-C port. It looks, this might be the Thunderbolt port. It's a super speed USB-C and a slot for your micro SD card. On the right side, you have two super speed USB-A ports. You have your headphone microphone jack and little lights for power and their battery. The cables are pulled together with Velcro. Nice touch, I like it but this is really short, look at this. <laughs> okay, this is the shortest cabling I've ever seen. Total length, I would say, is about six feet long for this power cord. This is very modern. It's a good work productivity-based ultrabook. Very, very lightweight, 2.62 pounds it is. It doesn't seem like it grips the bottom very well. It's not really rubber, it's kind of plastic. So no wonder it's sliding around. Let's go ahead and turn this guy on. The power button is in the upper right hand corner. Ah, the keys lit up. So this is backlit. F8, it, that looks like, yeah. So you have three levels of lights and off. So this is level one, level two, level three, and off. And back on again. You see the screen. I like how this is like almost bezel-less. This is very, very thin on the side here. And this is a 14 inch screen too. Right, so I'm back and the only thing I've done is install OBS Studio. Everything else is exactly how you would see it otherwise. We wanna see what programs are installed. So most MSI laptops come with one piece of software that lets you control everything. MSI Center for Business and Productivity, we have one, two, three, four options. High performance, balanced, 
silent and super battery. For now, we'll keep on balanced. That's user scenario. We have system analysis. Everything you need to know about what's inside the laptop. Ah, this is useful. You can have backups here and you can do a system restore from the backup that you have made. So back it up as an ISO. And then if you need to restore it, you can come here and system restore. Great. The MSI Business Center, you're going to need for the optimization settings. Intel Graphics Command Center, you're gonna need this if you want to optimize your graphics. This utility is in every single one of the laptops that have Intel chips in them. So hold on to this, you're going to need it. Yeah, Nahimic is for audio. Set your audio to whatever you're doing. If you're watching a movie, you set it on that. If you're playing a game, you set it on that. Listening to music, you set it on that. Objectively, you really don't need to have this, but it might come in helpful. Everything else is installed by Microsoft. Realtek Audio Console. This is also having to do with audio. Hold on to this. The only programs that are in here that is external to what Microsoft has put in is the MSI Center for Business. You'll need that, hold on to it. Uh, the Intel Graphics Command Center, you'll need that. And uh, Nahimic, which is audio, and the Realtek, which is also audio. So I would hold on to them. This is what you'll see using the 720p camera that's built in to the MSI Modern. If you want to hear the audio, we'll switch it right now. This is the built-in microphone. There's a left and a right, I think. I want to see if there's a color shift. Now, I reviewed an Asus laptop, and when I went like this, the color shifted, yeah, to blue. Same thing with this, uh, but this isn't so bad. Quality is okay. Yeah, there is a problem, though. Uh, there is a software button, the F6 button, to turn the camera on and off. With OBS Studio, the software stopped working. It just froze. You'll know when the camera is activated, though, uh, by a blinking LED light that's right next to the camera. So when it's recording, you'll see it blink, and uh, when you turn it off, it'll stop blinking. Next thing I want to do is connect to the internet and see how well the Wi-Fi works. This network uses Wi-Fi 6 for better coverage and performance. Enjoy. Really? That's great, okay. I'm gonna go to Wi-Fi, metered connection, I'm gonna set it as on, because I don't want Windows downloading stuff right now. This is the one thing I hate when I turn on the internet. Everything and their mother just starts downloading stuff. Oi, yay, yay. How do you turn this? No, stop. Automatic, no. Go away. We need to get rid of this. Goodbye. Holy crap. I want to uninstall you. I don't want to buy anything from you. Go away and uninstall. Uninstall and remove all my user data. Uninstall. Oh my god. Tell us what. Just uninstall. So Norton is extremely invasive and I want to get rid of it and any other invasive program. Since the laptop is made for productivity, you're definitely gonna wanna browse the internet. I've installed Firefox here and uh, installed a firewall. Now, most people will go to google.com and start searching right away. So we are connected to a 300 megabit per second line. Your browser is only as fast as your internet connection, right? So uh, this laptop has Wi-Fi Five, which is 802.11ac. Loads up pretty quickly. Uh, let's go to bbcnews.com. Wow. Look how quickly this web page popped up. Everything loaded in like a split second. But this is static. It loads up pictures and it loads up words. Things like that are fairly quick. But if you wanted to test the ultimate downloading, you can go to youtube.com and see how well it can handle playing a video. Skip ads, come on. All right, so we're playing this video here. Turn off captions, maximize this, and you can see that this is loading the video fairly quickly. Now we're playing at 
HD, 1080p, all right? This is very, very high quality, so the amount of data coming down is, must be a lot. So this is already buffering this much already. That means playback is very, very smooth. So the Wi-Fi that comes built into this laptop is top-notch. So that was the internet. Now let's talk about the screen here and the processing power. So I have a movie player here. It's called Pop Player. It plays back MP3s and movie files. Let's test the audio. This is only a two watt speaker, but it's pretty loud. And you can mute this using the F1 key and you have F2 and F3 to raise the volume up and down. It is very loud. But for now, let's mute this guy. <laughs> the screen itself is 14 inches. It's a full high def 1920 by 1080 and it's an IPS screen so you can kind of uh, view the picture from sideways and you can still see it pretty well. Now, I wouldn't do any graphics editing with this because it's only 45% NTSC color gamut. So if you're looking to do like serious uh, graphic design work, forget about it. <laughs> Unless you're plugging in an external monitor. The video card is a built-in Iris XE iGPU. It's got 48 EUs. It's a productivity machine. It's not made for games, but for casual games, it should work just fine. Surprisingly, I was able to play some of the more demanding games, of course, at the lowest settings, uh, like Subnautica worked fairly well. Automation Empires worked too. State of Decay was more borderline. That was harder to play. However, the graphics wasn't powerful enough to screen capture at the same time. If you're doing video editing work like DaVinci Resolve, this isn't the machine for it. I would not, absolutely not, advise doing that on this machine. To test out the battery life, we charged up the laptop to 100% and played back HD videos in full screen until it just kind of died. Under standard settings in the MSI Center, the battery lasted 5 hours and 8 minutes, playing back H.264 videos in Pot Player. Quite unfortunately, the USB-C is not Thunderbolt 4 as advertised, and I found out that the i3 chips have no Thunderbolt 4, only the i5 and i7 CPU chips, but all is not lost. I was hoping to connect all the peripherals, like my monitor, my uh, keyboard, and my mouse, onto this uh, pluggable USB-C docking station and connecting this one cable into the laptop to connect everything. Now all of these plus the display works, however, it's not power pass-through, so we still have to connect the power cable to power up the laptop. So we have to connect two cables, which isn't too bad, but I'm sort of disappointed it's not Thunderbolt 4. Let's take a quick look at the keypad. So I'm gonna open up Notepad and just type, hello, Ooh, hello world. This is a chiclet style keypad. And it feels a bit mushy. It's kind of, if I push this down, the whole area just kind of mushes downward. You can see a kind of bend of the keypad. It's moving like this. The keys themselves are quite big. You have full-sized arrow keys, which I can appreciate. And up on top, you have the full range of media keys from you know, the audio as we saw before, to turning off the mic, turning on and off the webcam. You have the screen brightness, F9 and F10. This is kind of a weird one. F12 flips the screen upside down and right side up. It's kind of odd, I've never seen that before. Really, really weird. The trackpad is quite nice. It feels nice to the touch, and it's not too sensitive that you miss hit it. And using two fingers, you can easily scroll up and down and my fingers aren't tired. Some trackpads are so rough that it eats away at your fingerprints, but this isn't too bad at all. I like the feeling of it. I'm gonna start up Specky, and that will show you everything that's inside this machine. So this system is Windows 10 Home 64-bit. The CPU is an Intel Core i3 at three gigahertz. 
Actually, uh, the base speed should be 1.3 gigahertz and the turbo speed should be 4.1 gigahertz when it really needs it. The RAM is eight gigabytes. There's one slot in there. It's DDR4 at 3200 megahertz. You can swap it out for something bigger if you want, up to 32 gigabytes maximum. Uh, motherboard, Intel UHD graphics. This is an Intel Iris Xe integrated GPU with 48 EUs or execution units. Storage is a Kingston SSD, M.2 PCIe NVMe, if I'm not mistaken. You can upgrade it probably if you wish to a one terabyte, I believe. Audio is a Realtek high definition audio chip. It's a dual core CPU, 1115 G4. It's got six megabytes of cache. It looks like we're connected with a Wi-Fi 6 chip, AX201 at 160 megahertz. If they somehow uh, gave me a better chip, hey, I'll take it. <laughs> and that's pretty much the overall look at what's underneath the hood. The MSI Modern 14 is just as its namesake, modern. This practically handles everything you can throw at it when it comes to web browsing and productivity like Word documents, Excel sheets, and all of that. You can even do light graphics and you can play casual games on it. Now, the only thing that I wouldn't do is video editing and high-end graphics where you have to ingest a thousand raw photos. I would, don't do that. <laughs> but almost everything else, this guy can handle. There's a major design flaw, at least for me. Uh, the airflow is blocked once you close the lid. So if you have peripherals like monitor, keyboard, and mouse, I tend to keep the lid closed. However, if you do that, the air flow is blocked. The hinge blocks the air holes. <laughs> There's nowhere for the air to go. If you use it on the road, it's fine. But if you like to keep the lid closed because you have an external monitor, then it can't cool itself. So this could be a problem. Anything else? Well, the rubber isn't exactly grippy and the mushy keyboard. I mean, the keys are big though. So even if you have really big fingers, you won't have a problem typing on it. And also uh, the screen, it's 45% NTSC. So the color gamut isn't good enough to do serious graphics work. But other than that, this is a really great laptop for the price. For eight gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of storage, uh, for an Intel 1115 G4, I got this online uh, for under $400, <laughs> including taxes and shipping and all of that stuff. My recommendation to you is to pick this guy up if you find a good sale. Good sales are on right now. It's March of 2022 and uh, they're trying to move inventory. So anything that's an 11th gen Intel CPU is worth keeping your eye on. Thank you very much for watching this video on the MSI Modern 14. I hope it really helped to show you what this laptop is about. Uh, if you wanna look for prices, I'll leave Amazon affiliate links down below in the notes, but also keep your eyes open on uh, eBay and B&H Photo, Ant Online, Walmart, and all those guys, you know, just to get an idea of what prices are like before you jump in. Uh, if you haven't yet, please take a moment now to subscribe to the First Look, Look With Two Zeros YouTube channel. I'll see you all again next time. Welcome to First Look, I'm Young John. Today, hmm, I keep on forgetting the two zeros. Welcome to First Look, I'm Young John. I forgot again. At least I'm getting closer to the First Look part, right?